Okay, so this is the Calvin's Puzzle 5x5 five five Ball. And this was originally made by Tony Fisher, but mass-produced by Calvin's Puzzle. So let's get into the first turns. It's pretty good, actually. Not that bad for Nando's WCA Puzzle. And another thing I'm noticing is how small this cube is. Here's the cube compared to a normal 5x5, five five, which it actually isn't much smaller than a five by, normal 5x5, five five, but it's just because it's round that it feels a lot smaller. So the reason for getting this cube, or I should say ball, is because I like 5x5. Five five. It's my favorite type of cube, and once I figured out about this cube being mass-produced, I wanted it, but I guess I just forgot about it and got a whole bunch of speed cubes. And I actually wanted another non-WCA puzzle. I thought I should just look for non-WCA puzzles I want and just get all of them. So here's the cube and checkerboard. So solving this cube might actually be pretty annoying, but I'm really enjoying turning it right now. It's a pretty good puzzle. But I don't want this video to be too long, so I'll go on, move on to the next cube. Next up is the Diane Master Cube, which I had to sticker. And while I was stickering it, I noticed one thing. So these faces turn right here. But if you couldn't tell, the tips won't turn. But over here on these faces, the tips will turn, but this part won't. But all around the cube, this, this part does turn right here. Apparently not. It doesn't even turn like that for half of this cube. Okay, what's weird about this cube is some of these faces won't turn, but the other ones will. I don't really understand this cube. It's going to be a challenge, and turning's kind of bad. But it is a non-WCA puzzle. And the stickering job's kind of bad because I did it. But this cube seems very it seems like it's gonna be very difficult to solve. So it's time to move on to the next cube. This cube is one I really wanted, or should I say cuboid? It is the Calvin's 3x3x4. So here we go. Let's get in the first turns. I have the 3x3x5. Oh wow. That's really good. This cube is so good. It does not shape shift. And I just did an algorithm that messed it up. Uh, I don't really know what I just did. This is a very good cube though. I guess I'll just go ahead and scramble it. It is very sandy, but light at the same time. All right, it's time to move on to the next puzzle. So this is the Z-Cube Bandage 3x3A. So as you can tell, a whole bunch of the cube is bandaged, so you can't make turns like this or this. But you can turn three faces in first turns obviously this is actually pretty good and I did just scramble it but I think it should be fine I have solved a cube with three sides on my channel before, but this cube should be very difficult. So this cube is very good. I'm not really going to be doing any solves on it, not on video. I tried looking for an algorithm and then I just ended up scrambling it more. So yeah, let's move on to the next cube. Last but not least is a 4x4 Fisher Cube by Leafon. So let's get into the first turns. Wow, 
Wow, inner layers are a lot better than outer layers. This cube is very strange. I know I'm going to be able to solve this one. It actually corner cuts a little bit. So this is what checkerboard looks like on it. It's quite strange. So this cube is quite nice. And I think that will wrap up the huge non-WCA unboxing. So that, guys, was the video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you have any questions, then make sure to ask them down in the comments below. Besides that, have a good day and bye. See you next time.